Hey, Marjorie, it's Detective Butcher. It's about 10 to 6 Tuesday evening. I was just calling to see if uh, maybe you were available. need to speak with you regarding uh, Jay and the disappearance. Hello, this is Marjorie Orban. I saw that you had just called. Yeah, thanks for calling back, Marjorie. Thanks. Hey, I was wondering, uh, do you have some times where we can sit down and talk about the investigation and uh-huh. where to go with it? Sure. I mean, oh. I thought that's what we're doing tomorrow. Good. Well, are you, what time are you available? Are you available any earlier than 10? I have a child I have to take to school at 9. Okay. I mean, I, do, do you want to talk, you mean on the phone or in person or what? In person. I, I just kind of get the feeling that you're really not available and willing to, to help us out, try to locate you where... You get that feeling, huh? Um, no, mostly, um, hmm, that's a... Uh, Hmm, surprised you say that. I had uh, called you earlier this afternoon. Right, I just saw that, and I just got, got home. Oh, okay. Why, you know what? I'm already feeling like I am having to defend myself here. Okay, well, I don't mean to make you feel on the defensive or anything like that. I'm very concerned about Jay. I speak more matter-of-factly. Mm-hmm. That does not mean that I do not care. But just because I'm not running around crying and in, in, in hysteria mm-hmm. does not mean that I'm not concerned and not doing anything. Right, right. I'm not saying that. Just... I have been rooting through paperwork and trying to decrypt crap on the computer. W- what do you think has happened to him? I mean, where do you explain Jay to be for the last what, week and a half or so? Since I don't know where he has been for the last week and a half or so, I can't explain it. My problem is I, I am not going to be mold, mowed all over. I, and, I'm not and, trying and to, I know to that mow you. Have a job. I'm trying not to mow you over. I know you have I'm a job, but now you're, he, you're having a problem because I couldn't be somewhere at the drop of a hat on in one particular instance. Okay. One let, particular okay. instance. Well, let me explain. Now, I'm a bad guy. No, I'm not saying you're a bad guy. During the, the course of missing persons investigations, we run polygraphs on all the parties involved. I understand okay. that. We start with, you know, the person closest to that missing person, and that would be you. Okay. Jay, as Jay's wife. Can we schedule for a polygraph you know what? tomorrow? I think I'm going to call an attorney, yes. because I don't like the tone of a lot of this. Ma'am, I'm not getting a no, call with I'm you. No, I'm, I'm going to call an attorney. Who wants me to take a polygraph tomorrow? You tell her to go f*** yourself. Uh, f- Who's that? None of your business. It's okay. a friend of mine. Okay. Is this conversation being recorded? Yes, it is. It is. Okay. I would like a copy of that. Okay. I was under the understanding you would like to have a conversation and yes. try and get some information rather than throw around accusations that are Ma'am, being I'm not making any accusations. Oh, you I... did make accusations, I think, if you play this tape back. Okay. You, you said it's that just, I seem I, to be less with, than cooperative. With all the, the investigations that I've done with all the missing persons cases I've been involved in, it's it's kind of unusual that you're not as cooperative as most in of the other. In what way am I not being cooperative? You asked to the House. I'm, I'm absolutely happy to do so. It would be more productive if I have enough time to straighten some of the crap out so that you can make the, heads or tails of it. The paperwork doesn't have to be straightened. Okay, that's what is what it that you want to see here at the House? That's what we can go through when we get there. You don't have to straighten out okay. the paperwork. You don't have to well, go through the paperwork. Have... That's what we can do. You explained to me that you and Jay were simply a mutual friendship, we respect for friends, one another. And I have, and, and, and over the years, I have a great deal of love and respect for the man. So are you dating somebody then? I, we, Jay and I are not married. You're not married now? No. Okay. We have been divorced for a number of years so and we remain together, living together, um, for reasons that were between us and okay. if you think that that's something sneaky and need to need to think you need to need to know about something from five six years ago uh perhaps we'll get into that if you feel at some point you need to know okay so um, you were divorced five or six years ago yes. two of you okay. and we, we and between us have an agreement to continue living together as husband and wife i have his will and i have his power of attorney and how, how come you didn't tell me that when... How do I know what I need to tell you? I've never been in a circumstance like this. I haven't done anything wrong. I don't know. Do I need to tell you the color of my toenail polish? I don't, Mom, I don't care what color your toenail polish is. But you is. know what I'm saying? How much of my personal life should I divolve? How much well, shouldn't I? I, I, I don't like know that. I would like for you to be completely honest. Completely honest the about everything in the entire world? As it relates I, to the investigation, okay. the fact that does you and Does this Jay relate to the are, investigation? Yes, ma'am, it does. Okay, I didn't think it did. 